220. Showed his rushing skills in their win against Tulsa last week. Had trouble with a low snap. Now he takes off running. Room outside and lots of it. Out to end up quick and go. After play fake, Dart had to get rid of it, and his pass is too. Motion shifts, they take a long time to snap it. We're in Tennessee and Indiana so far this year. It's on third down, especially in long yardage. And Dart's throw is on target. Will they get to the first down? Stepping up in competition today. Safety for Kentucky. And they go quickly again. Dart. That's backwards. That could be setting something up later. Front, they were not fooled by that formation or set. A little bit of a low snap. Here's Evans again. They low in three last year. Took him to the Sugar Bowl where they lost to Baylor. Dart avoided the rush. Can't find anybody. Takes off running now. Jackson doesn't broker, but Micah Pettis steps in. At right tackle, they have two redshirt freshman tackles, which is a bit of a concern. They think they're talented. They protect for Dart. He has his receiver, and they have a side of the portal from Louisville. Well, nothing wrong with this offensive line and the protection on this play. Great pocket, a deep over route. The yard line. Zach Evans. Well, they're just going to run inside zone. Now, remember, Jaquez Jones is out of the game. That 21 after a missed field goal. Quinshawn Judkins, true freshman. He Back on the field at inside linebacker. Another low snap we mentioned. There's third down. And 11. With two minutes to go in the quarter. Right on target. Dart waving through midfield. Nick Gator to the transfer from Mississippi State. Really a beautiful throw and perfect timing. As soon as he made that separation from the corner, the ball was on him. Is it too early to say Jackson fired a dart? It's a little too easy. Great play fake. Throwing in a single coverage, and it's almost it. Never played in an RPO offense in high school or during his year at USC. For USC, after Keaton Slovis got hurt. Right through the middle. Quentin Judkins! Touch of line. Watch Micah Pettis, the right tackle, cave in here, and then the tight end come over and get the perfect kickout block, Casey Kelly, and then it was off to the races for Jenkins. Judkins, beautiful run, perfect execution at the line of scrimmage. This one-two punch of Zach Evans and Quinshawn Judkins has been outstanding. Low miss on offense, Jackson front. And they're just kind of caving in those three defensive linemen right now. They've done a good job of limiting explosive plays. That's a concern. Dart just lofts it up for Malik Heath. He runs under it. Oh, wait, the sack and the negative yardage play because Kentucky gets good pressure. Now he gets rid of the ball. He's strong enough in his arm to get the ball to the outside of the field and should have been caught, should have been a completion to Malik Heath. Why it wasn't a catch on that replay. Judkins got blast <laughs> up top. On third down and four, and that pass late in this offense, and he is again just getting more and more comfortable with each rep. Good play fake going long for Heath and CC for a variety of reasons to play against the best competition, in his opinion. Plays and uh He's done a nice job with Jackson Dart. On third down, he's on target again. Malik Heath. Malik said his mom was worried about the transfer more than anything else. Down the seam. Bad throw by. On the handoff. They're very good at letting Charlie know where they need to get to to go for it on fourth down. Dart. Evans, the running back now. Another low snap. With the new center in there, and it's Evans ahead. They're very confident Acker would handle it well. That one's a better snap about knee high. Back shoulder throw from Malik. He thought it would help make him a better receiver. He's been an immediate impact player. Dart 
Deflected it in midway through the second quarter. Ole Miss already up 16 to 6. Probably not a field goal try from here. Sidearm throw. And dating storm. It's hard to look at those pictures. Yeah. Food, shelter, relief supplies, recovery, planning, and other assistance. There's Malik Heath, Palms Park. And it's uh, overwhelming what has happened. Please help if you can. Nice pass by Jackson Dart. Michael Trigg. Mounts too, so it can be very aggressive here. And you know they will be. With Lane Kiffin calling the shots. Here's Malik. 13 for the first down. Dart giving a nice pocket. Back shoulder throw. Down to close out the first half. And they are in field goal range for Cruz, and it's an interception by well, Here he is right here, and his eyes are right on the quarterback. It's zone. It's not man. So he's watching the quarterback. He's reading eyes, and he steps right into the throwing lane. Roll misses one 12 in a row, dating back to last year. Z big one for Clemson tonight at home against NC State. Here's the big one, ABC primetime. They shut the Gators out in the second half. They were down three at halftime. Dart throws it up. And be I didn't think Taste of the Town was going to need a referee, but I, I think going forward, that could be the case. On first down. Always dressed very well in the student section here. It will miss Jackson Dart. Good fake. Excellent runner. Trying to reclaim the lead, threw it into it. Here, Childress, a transfer from Texas State. One of ten transfers they brought in. Out of the portal this year, out of the backfield, Judkins. Has a first down for the Rebels. them to get lined up fast and play fast. And the path possible to light up for the next play. And that's primarily the inside guy. Shoot as fast as you can. Could well be four down territory for Ole Miss. Third down and seven. They don't need fourth down. Team on the inside between the center and the right guard. They try that real estate again, and Judkins gets thrown on that play. Yeah. He's an impressive young back. Runs with great maturity. Evans a bit more per carry today. Nine rushes for 87 yards. After the fake, Dart to the near sideline. Was his outlet. Kentucky defended it well. Evans again. Coverage up top. Coach Weiss Jr. just 29 years old. Like this. Once they make their first play, another bad snap. And Dart to an odd front. When they have a guy right off the edge of the center's nose, he's trying to think about it. Just makes it difficult. They lost five. Darts pass. Bad enough if they needed him, and they need him. He snaps it right to Dart. Darts on target first. On the same page. Or an 18 yard gain on third and long. Under pressure. Locks it up again. Emily. Almost identical to the play we saw in the first half. Pressure. Avoid the sack. Loft it to the edge of the field. Judkins on first on the field for down after down. Dart on second and ten. Fires to the sideline. Caught. Whole field. Judkins. Bounced off an official. Ole Miss Rebel, Kedron Smith. Well, again, a little deception. They faked the end sweep. I'll tell you what, Micah Pettis, the right tackle, is having a heck of a game. 940 last week against Tulsa. And he's dropped for another loss. Coming through the hole. Watch right here. Actually, I think it was 54 who came in there. De'Eric Jackson got skinny behind the line of scrimmage. A little bit. Out it goes to Trigg. And fourth and goal from the four. Huge play. Dart kept it. Dart threw it up for grabs. It's knocked down and takes over on downs. But DeAndre Square is the guy who made the play first. Watch him as he rushes. He forces Jackson Dart to stop. He couldn't get outside. He had to come back inside and just kind of throw it up there. The UK helmet of Will Levis. The next hit caused the fumble, but that hit should have been a targeting, right, Matt? Ole Miss protecting a three-point lead. Kentucky down to one timeout is Jordan Watkins. Back here.
And no timeouts for Kentucky. Not going to risk the incomplete pass and the stoppage of the clock. 